Hello again. Well, I just put chain and sprockets on. I've now cleaned the hell out of this bike. Look how clean it is. Never been seen before. And then I can start poking around, see what I need to do. When you're draining the oil, take the key out, put it in your pocket, put it out of sight so no one can start it while there's no oil. This is where you can get covered in shit. You can feel when that last thread goes. That's always handy. Like that. Put it right up high and then the, the wind won't blow it all over the drive. Yeah, that's not going to make any difference. You'll still spill it. Right, I'll change the filter. The filter I'm using is a high flow HF112. Be a little bit of oil in there, but not a lot. I always spill oil, always. Give everything a good blast with a bit of braking clutch cleaner and some paper towel. Get all that shit out. And don't lose the spring. Bit of blue Hylamar, both sides. Blue Hylamar, that's some good shit. It's been around years, so always handy to have a tube of that. This is what they call a crush gasket, but if you use blue Hylamar, you can keep on using it. Hold that in this can be a right pain of a job. Put the spring in the case and then the filter pushing on the spring, hold it all in place and bolt it back to the engine if you're lucky. Don't do it up tight till you've got them all started. When I say tight, I don't mean silly tight. It's an 8mm bolt, so it doesn't need very much tightening. Um, if you're not sure, consult the manual for the correct torque settings. You might as well check some stuff while the oil's still dripping out. My homemade rad guard has uh, stood the test of time. It's been over a few times. It's quite strong brake pads are good enough for what I want to do. They're sintered pads so they last a lot longer. I'm going to have the air filter out next. I only recently changed this so So yeah, that's good, that's all oiled up. This is a homemade filter. Um, it's made out of an original filter, which I find that if you're going somewhere dusty, they clog up quite quickly. I also have pre-oiled filters ready to change with that one. Or if I'm riding light, that will go in the bag. Mm, a bit of a Heath Robinson air filter, maybe. You can buy a filter just like that. I can't remember who makes it now. It's about 40 odd quid. And you can buy spare filters for it, which I would recommend you do if you're not sure about this sort of thing. Probably better than following this idiot's advice. Uh, the, the crush washer, I don't replace it. I just put a bit of blue Hylamar on either side of it and then put it back. And once again, if you're not sure, consult the torque setting book. Greased all the rear suspension joints and checked all the bushes. I just got to put a couple of pumps in the grease nipple in the front. It's starting to come out the bottom there. Uh, yep, that'll do. So it's time to chuck some new oil in. So that's up on the sight glass now, so I'll just let that tick over for a minute 
minute or two and then check it again. Yep, that's all good. Final inspection before I panel up. Fork seals have just been done. I've got to put the fork ga gaiters on. New wheel bearings in the front recently. And all good. Tools can go back on. Water's good. Everything's good. Breezed. New chain and sprocket. New bearings on the front. New tubeless tubes front and rear. Quite possibly the last ones I buy the way things are going. Brakes are good, sintered pads good, front and rear. Air filter's clean. Yeah, it's all good. Ready to panel up. There we go, all cleaned up. Ready for action. Just got to put my luggage on, the electronics on. These DID chains are the bollocks. You, you run it in, adjust it up, and then you can pretty much forget about it for months. It won't want tightening again for ages. So the mileage, 16,764. Well, if you write over what you've got previously marked up, it should rub out. Other fella, that. Oil and filter. What did I say? 16,700? Yeah, that's So that's roughly about 3,000 miles since the last oil change, but this time I've done the filter as well, so I do the filter every other oil change, which is usually about between two and 3,000 miles. Over the last few months, as Pretty much had everything done. There's new fork seals, uh, new wheel bearings front and rear, uh, new chain and sprockets again. Um, it's a great little bike. I wouldn't swap it for anything. And, and after 16,000 miles, the only thing I'd say about it is a lot more torque. Pulls a lot better. <laughs>